Hi, welcome to Stitch by Ned Rush, the new exciting Max for Live device that's pink. Yeah, thought I'd go with pink this time because we're all pink on the inside, aren't we? Yes, we all know it's true. So what is this? This is a sort of uh, mashup device thing like all my other effects are really. They're just you know, for mangling stuff. Uh, but this is different. Uh, so let's let's just have a little listen, shall we? That's some trap beat going on there. That's some trap music. Yeah, you're all familiar with that, aren't you? Okay, so let's have a look here. Can you see my mouse? It's here. We've got these three little windows here. This is window number one. This is window number two. This is window number three. And window number one is your effect sequencer. Click and drag, play around. The types of effects are displayed in a comment box at the bottom. These are my instructions. Can you see my instructions? They're popping up. There we go. So if I hover my mouse around here, you can see we've got uh, forward repeat, reverse repeat, DJ stop, DJ start, loop up, loop down, pitch up and pitch down. So this is like a little effect sequencer here. Each row is a different type of effect and each column is a step in time, step in time, step in time. So um, that's where you would choose all the different effects you want. This other little window here are parameters. These are parameters for each of these effects. So each row here corresponds to each row here, right? So if I play with this fader, it's going to affect this little row here. So that's forward repeat, and I'm adjusting the repeat rate there. If I have a really, just do something this way. Okay, you get the idea. So each of these little sliders here affects each one of these uh, effects here. So you can click and drag and do all stuff here. And then we've got the third window. Now this is the exciting, I think it's interesting anyway. Uh, this is the sequencer sequencer. Um, and I know what you're saying. You're saying, what the f, f? But so this sequencer controls, or rather sequences, how fast the sequencer actually goes. So if you look at this little thing here, if I hover over it, you can see all these different note values here. So, for example, if I choose this row here, these will all be on every crotch here, every one beat. One, two, three, four. So, as a good example here, let's go through some of the effects, shall we? This is the forward repeat thing here. And this is backwards repeat. And you can change how fast it repeats or whatever. Uh, this is, what's this one? DJ stop, like a turntable, stop. Woo! And the fader chooses the curve of how much it stops. And the next one is the same, but starting. Very nice. And this one samples into the buffer and then adjusts the loop length of the sample over time as it plays back according to the secret. Oh, it's really complicated. I don't. I can't be bothered to explain. And this is the same, but going down. Is a slightly slower rate. Here we go. Let's try this. And then this is like some funny pitch stuff.
and this is the same but going down. So, yeah, this sequencer here is kind of really what I think makes it a little bit interesting is that you're sequencing how fast the sequencer moves. So this step here is a 16th note. This is a quarter crotchet note. This is a... And this is a... So just watch it. See that? Whoa. So you can kind of sequence how fast the uh, the sequencer actually moves. You've got a little step size thing here, so you can choose how many steps you want. Let's try something like eight and just fanny around here. Here we go. Right. Click and drag. Just click and drag. You know, it's all about the click and drag. <laughs> Of course, there's a dry, wet, or dry, what the F. Uh, I thought that would be funny. So let's try and make something not so effing mental um, and something that's a little bit kind of interesting um, because you could kind of, the, the way I'm pitching this is that you can use this as a, a random. Uh, you know, device for generating new sounds or whatever, or you can kind of reinvent your boring drum loops with it and turn them into something interesting. And a good place to start is to maybe watch this tutorial section of the video. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just go with forward repeat as my effect. And then I'm going to choose a sequencer rate of about four crotchets, whatever they're called. Now if I adjust this, so now I'm getting a repeat every single beat. Now if I slow the sequencer down, you can see how that's quite groovy, isn't it? It's funky. It's funky, isn't it? We could maybe put uh, some eighth notes in there. See what's going on here? We could chuck in some reverse sounds. There we go. And we could maybe make the repeat a little bit faster. Actually, I liked it where it was. Chuck in some of these. Oh. By the way, this is what the original sounds like, just to give you some context. You know, change around with these sliders here to adjust how it all works. You could get do some turntable stuff. Let's have a go at that. There you go. So some turntable stuff there. Let's get some more into some more kind of abstract stuff. some, you know, avant-garde dance floor stuff. So what about these little buttons at the bottom? Well, these buttons just randomize, you know, it uh, whenever you want. You know, you just click on that and it will randomize it. These little romp buttons, bo bo bottoms, oh God, you can tell what I've been doing. Right, let's do that again. 
I don't know why I decided to call them ROMP if I was going to have a few drinks and do a video about this anyway. So ROMP stands for Random on New Pass. So if you turn these on, this will randomize every time that it comes to the end of its sequence. Watch. Watch it. Watch it. There we go. See? That's exciting, isn't it? So what we could do actually is we could um, set the sequence, the sequencer sequencer to one measure, and set the effect sequencer to one effect, and uh, we could uh, maybe apply the random on new pass to the uh, parameter sliders here, so that it changes. It's basically going to randomize that. You can use it on each one of them individually, see? So if I set this to like one, maybe let's try. So we get some beat repeatery jittery stuff here and uh, that will work for all of them. The step, the step size goes all the way up to um, 32, so, you know, so you can go ape shit in here if you want. I like quite having it, I quite like having it on eight. Um, there is a random on you pass global button, which will do it to all three of them. So this is when you can get some really mental random stuff. So you can sequence some weird grooves out of it or you can use it just to cause utter mayhem and of course no one's really interested in this unless we hear Billie Jean by Michael Jackson ran through it I'm probably gonna get sued oh, I don't care Basically, whenever I'm patching in Max MSP and I need something BT to test if my stuff works, I use Billy Jean. But I don't think I'm gonna. This is gonna be an infringement of copyright because they're never gonna be able to tell because it's way too messy. Oh damn! <laughs> Go, they'll never know. YouTube actually has this interesting kind of algorithm where it recognizes stuff that you've used so that it can catch you out. Um, I wonder if it's gonna be able to. What? What are you doing? That was weird. Right. Thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoy Stitch. Jesus, 13 minutes. I've been there it was again. Did you see that? It's the ghost of Michael Jackson. <gasps> He's living in this fader here. Wait, maybe he'll come back. There he was. Did you see him? Fuck.